I wanted to hit you with uh, with some numbers here. Georgia has allowed only 59 points through nine weeks of the season. Putting that into perspective, that's the fewest number of points that I believe has been allowed uh, at least in terms of nobody scoring 14 or more going all the way back to Alabama 1992. Georgia 59. Ohio, I wanted to compare them to the other top five at least in the in the committee's rankings on uh, this past Tuesday. Georgia's given up 59. Ohio State's given up 171. Then you've got Bama at 179. Oregon at 202. And Michigan State at 204. Which leads me to this question. Are we underrating how dominant this Georgia defense has been particularly when you consider the era that we're in right now when points seem to rain down with uh, with wild uh, wild abandon on a regular basis except Georgia is playing defense like it's the 1970s or 80s. I mean, the way that Georgia can come at you in waves along the defensive line is incredible. I mean, what they've built there is a stockpile of NFL caliber talent. And for a lot of teams, they get overwhelmed in the trenches. And you watch them week in, week out. It's impossible to move the football against them. Now, because there's always a little bit of noise in the numbers, and I don't want to take anything away from what Georgia's been able to accomplish for a lot of the reasons that you outlined, talking about the era of college football we're in and everything else. But you go through this slate uh, of opponents that Georgia's faced, and you try and find the most dynamic offense that they've gone against. Clemson, we've seen them struggle week in, week out. Even back then, they didn't know exactly what they had for skill position talent. UAB, sure, it's a nice Conference USA program, but they don't have NFL caliber athletes. South Carolina, well, they didn't have quarterback play. Don't tell that to Todd Grantham, who lost his job uh, in the wake of South Carolina exploding against Florida, but another team that leaves a lot to be desired offensively. Vanderbilt, Arkansas, Auburn, Kentucky, all teams that adopt a run-first mentality, which we know doesn't work against this Georgia defensive front. I think that's why this game this weekend against Tennessee, despite a number approaching three touchdowns, is fascinating for a variety of reasons. Because if Josh Heupel can employ pace and tempo, like we've seen the Vols do in the past, and not allow Georgia those substitutions, kind of tire out some of those guys in the D-line, we know they're going to take deep vertical shots. And maybe there's a potential that Tennessee can put a little bit of a scare uh, into Georgia. I know they were able to mount a little bit of an attack against Alabama. So I think this game offers all sorts of intrigue. Uh, But let's not kid ourselves. This Georgia defense is every bit as good as advertised, and they may not get pushed even by Alabama the way things are trending right now in the SEC title game. 